Hello guys and welcome to Coding Orbit. In this video, I will show you how to consume a REST API with block state management. Now we have some states and an event. Once this event is invoked by the user, we will uh, respond by a state and afterwards we will respond by another state. For example, here we have load a new code. So once we click it, it will yield a loading state. Then after it loads the data from the API, it will yield this state with the loaded data. Now, before we get started, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content. Now, let's get started. All right, to get started, I've already set up my project. I created a directory called feature. Inside it, I created a directory called codes. Inside it, empty block and empty repository and empty UI directory. And I'll, I also created models directory, which is empty. However, the network file, the network folder has all network details that we covered in the previous video. I will keep a link in the description for that. We will not go over how to call an API. We're gonna go over how to deal with the blocks and the states. And for the API, I found this an API which give us a random uh, code every time we hit it. So if I refresh this page, it will give us another uh, code, which is everything has beauty, but not everyone sees it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. All right. So now let's get started. All right. So first thing first, we need to go to pubspec.yaml and we have to add flutter block http and json annotation as well for dev dependencies we have to add build runner and json serializable now the second thing we have to do we have to create a model for this api so basically this api has an id has tags list of strings has content with a content which is the code itself has author also it has length and date added and date modified so we'll create a model here we will add a dart file and we'll call it code model so i will actually paste this code model and for this to work i just added json key for the id because as you can see the id has an underscore and we don't actually have to make this have underscore so i just added json key here with name the underscore now go to the terminal and run this command which is flutter packages pop run build runner build and delete conflicts if there any conflict existed now after running this command all issues will be gone hopefully so let's wait a bit all right now after this command finishes you can see that it already added a new file and that says do not modify by hand and don't do so because if you run this command again it will bring it back like this so after creating this model we have to add the repository first so let's create a new a new dart file here and let's call it code repository and inside here i will actually paste it again so it will have the base url which is this url for the API and it will only have one method which is future it will return code model and it's called get code and it's async it will call the network service that send request with the request type get and the base URL which is this one and then we will filter the response if it succeeded the callback we will return code model dot from JSON with the succeeded uh, JSON response and if it fails, we will just throw an exception and error has happened. And don't worry if you don't understand anything here because I will keep a link in the description that explain everything for this uh, two methods. They belong to the this network uh, directory. So now let's go to the block. And first, each block must have event and the state and the block itself. So let's create first the event. Let's call it code event. And inside here, we must create an abstract class and let's call it code event. And sorry, abstract class, which has nothing. Now we only have one event, which is load a new code. So basically we will create a class called load code event 
that extends this code event and it doesn't have anything uh, the API is actually get request so we shouldn't send anything to the API now you can name it load code or code load event it's up to you so let's create also now the states so we'll say state or sorry code state and we will do the same approach for the event first we'll create an abstract class which will be code state and it has nothing now for the states we actually have three states the first state is the loading state that we saw once we click on the button then we have a state for the error in case an error has happened and then we have a state for load for the data loaded so the first state is code load state or loading if you wish so that extends this code state and it has nothing and the second class will be code error state that also extend this code state however here we would have final string message to show the error message so we will return we will have this constructor that takes this dot message and the final class is the state with the loaded data so we will create code loaded state that also extend the code state and it has final code model model that takes it in the constructor and this is it this is it for the states and the events all right now the only thing we're missing is the block itself so we'll create a new file and we will call it code block now the block is a class we'll call it code block that extends block and it takes here code event as well as for the code state and we have to import them so let's import the code event and the code state and we also have to import the block itself now we have to pass a constructor but before doing so we also have take the code repository inside the code block so we'll create this repository and then we will create this code constructor it will takes it sorry it will take the repository as well as it will call the super and we have to pass an initial state and for that we will pass the loading state so code loading state now we're not done so we have to catch the some event so the first event and the only event we need to catch is load code event all right when this event is invoked we have to make this async and we have to write some code here now the first thing we have to do we have to emit the loading state so we will have to emit this whenever we lo we invoke this event we will call the loading state first and we will show the circular progress indicator then after it we will have a try catch in here try catch block now in the try we will have to say final model is equal to await repository dot get code and after getting the code if we got it we will emit the loaded state so loaded or code loaded state with the model so we will pass loaded not loading sorry all right with the model now in the catch we will only have to emit the code error state with the error message so a dot to string and that's it for this block now comes the ui part for the for the ui i will create a directory called widgets and inside here i will create a code widget and inside here i will actually paste this 
widget I've already created. You can have whatever design you want. I just have this simple code widget. And then in the UI again, we'll create a code screen. So we'll call it code screen. Now for the screen, let's import first flutter material and then let's create a stateless widget and let's call it code screen. All right, for the code screen, what we need to do, first of all, we have to wrap the whole widget with block provider. So we will pass a block provider of type code block. And then we have create method. The create method takes context. And here we have to, since we don't want the user to click on the button the first time, so we want to show the user uh, the code ourselves for the first time so we will invoke this event ourselves so inside here we would say code block and this takes repository however we don't have to pass a strictly or a repository here and then uh, down there in the child we will call another repository so we will make the this repository as a repository provider so inside here we would say repository provider dot of context and this repository provider dot of context is actually of type code repository and after it we would say dot add and here we can pass an event so this event is actually load code event and to get rid of this error just add another dot inside here now for the child we will have first I don't know let's have it as center and then let's have a child another child and let's have it a padding maybe and for the padding let's pass const edge insets maybe 20 not only all sorry all right and let's have a child now for the child we will actually have block a block builder so this block builder takes in the block, the code block, and it also take the code state. And inside here we will have a builder, and this builder has context and it has a state. Now here we will check on the state. First, if the state, so we can say if state is code error state we can do something so we can return for example text uh, saying state dot message the message we got from the code load error state and we can have some styling maybe text style let's have the font size maybe 16 and let's have a color colors dot red all right and let's just add const here okay now this is for if we have an error if we don't have an error let's say else if state is quote loaded state so what we need to do we have to return the code widget i've already created so the model basically is state dot model we have and on the pressed, it's for actually for an elevated button, the button we see we saw load uh, a new code. So inside here we can say context dot read. So we have to read this block code block dot add. We will add an event which is load code event, and that's it. We only have to check just one thing more we have to return circular progress indicator in case we it wasn't caught error or it wasn't caught loaded state but just let have const here so that's it let's run the app oh we have an error let's check what is it all right Thing this solved it okay now let's run the app hopefully everything will work as expected all right the app ran however we only have a black screen and that's because we didn't 
uh, edit the main file so I will have a home screen that has only a container nothing else so instead of returning material app and having const here let's have this wrap in a widget and this widget is repository repository provider now this provider takes create and inside the create we don't actually need the context we just have to say code repository and for the child we will just have here to say code screen and maybe have const here all right now let's rerun the app and hopefully it will work so basically it's loading so it was loading the code then it loaded the code and this is the code once we click on load a new code it will show us this circular prog progress indicator and it will show us the code however you can see that it has black screen uh, uh, beneath it and that's because I also forgot to wrap this block provider with a scaffold so we can wrap it with a scaffold and we have body here and we can have an app bar if you want to app bar title const text quotes and let's see how it appears yeah so that's it basically we have the code and we can change the background color colors dot gray maybe just to see this uh, card so once we click on load a new code it will load a new code so that was all thank you guys for watching and if you like the video make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss our content and I will see you in the next video.